हेलो एवरीवन इस वीडियो में हम क्लास सेवन की बीबीसी के रीडिंग सेक्शन के प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट सारे सॉल्व करने वाले हैं इसमें हम प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स एंड सिक्स ए ये सब सॉल्व करेंगे तो सबसे पहले हम पोयम रीड करेंगे रीड द फॉलोइंग पोयम केयरफुली ग्रैंड पास लैप वॉज हिज गोल्डन थ्रोन वेयर सैट द बर्डिंग Little prince curling up old man's mustache as his own. Grandpa didn't as much as wince. They were a constant company, the best of pals and mates. They needed not bring things any, yet made palaces with gates. When others had no time nor words, the young prince started all day. About fairies and giants and chirpy boats, he had a lot to say. One night, when they came from the sky to lead old Grandpa away, while others waited and sobbed, "Oh my, the prince was sad. What about my good night kiss today?" Take the correct option for each of the following statements. Who was in Grandpa's lap? First, the poet. Second, a chirpy bird. Third, the grandson. Fourth, his son. The correct answer is third, the grandson. B. Grandpa did not wince because he did not first feel anything. Second, want others to know of his pain. Third, have real mustaches. Fourth, mind his grandchild having fun with him. The correct answer is fourth, mind his grandchild having fun with him. C. The little prince chattered all day with first his grandfather, second fairies, third birds, fourth giants. The correct answer is first his grandfather. D. What did the child need more than anything else? First toys, second golden throne, third palaces, fourth some time. The correct answer is some time. E. The expression to lead. Old Grandpa away. Line 14 suggests that first Grandpa was going away to live separately. Second Grandpa was no longer wanted in the family. Third Grandpa was going away to sit visit someone. Fourth Grandpa had died. The correct answer is fourth Grandpa had died. F. Which lines convey the idea that the boy was very talkative? Lines 2 to 4, 6 to 8. 10 to 12 or 18 to 20. The correct answer is lines 10 to 12. Second answer, third part. Second, complete the following statements as briefly as possible. The relationship between the little boy and grandpa was like that of pals and mates. Part B. When the little boy sat in grandpa's lap, he used to curl up his mustache as his own. See, the little boy talked to his grandpa about fairies. Giants and chirpy birds. D. When Grandpa died, the little boy was very sad because there was nobody to kiss him good night. E. One night when they came from the skyline, thirteen. Here they refers to angels or agents of death. Or representatives. of god third do you agree that the grandfather led a rather lonely life explain your opinion with one or two reasons from the text yes 
I think Grandpa led a rather lonely life. Except for the time he spent with his grandson. Others in the family had no time for him and hardly ever had conversations with him. Fourth, what important lesson of life does the poem teach? The poem teaches us the lesson that old people need our care love and time as much as any children do. It is our duty to ensure that old people do not feel lonely, isolated, and unwanted and that their needs are met. They should be given the feeling that they are vital parts of the family. Now we will read the reading passage of art as a poem. Practice assignment 2. Read the following poem carefully. Secret place. Do you have a secret place? No one knows about you. A quiet spot that's all your own. I do. My secret place is hidden beside a sparkling stream where tall oaks spread out friendly arms and emerald ferns forms gleam. In my secret place, I sit and watch white clouds sail ever over honeybees top to sip sweet nectar from wild clover.
One day for my company, there came a dragonfly, a turtle climbed upon a rock, a silver snail trailed by. We shared a common friendship, but no one said a word. The close by murmur of the brook was the only sound heard. As quietly as my guests came, the three left silently, something about each one of them promised secrecy. Take the correct option for each of the following statements. The speaker's secret place is most probably situated first in a city, second in a forest, third near a farmhouse, fourth near a river. The correct answer is near a river. B. At a secret place, the poet often enjoys himself of the beauties of nature, has secret meetings with his friends, plays with his playmates, or writes poems. The correct answer is first, enjoys himself of the beauties of nature. C. We shared a common friendship. We in this line refers to the poet, the clouds, and the honeybees, the poet and his three guests, the poet, the oak trees and the ferns, the dragonfly, the turtle and the silver snail. The correct answer is the poet and his three guests. C. But no one said a word, no one spoke anything, most probably because it was a secret meeting. No one knew how to communicate with other species. Everyone was afraid of others. All of them wanted to listen to the murmuring brook. Correct answer is second. No one knew how to communicate with other species. The poem teaches us the lesson that everyone should have a secret place of their own. When watching birds and animals, one should keep quiet. We should never reveal the secret of others. All species can coexist harmoniously. The correct answer is fourth. All species can coexist harmoniously. Second, given below is the summary of the poem, completed by writing the missing word in the space provided. The poet has a secret place about which no one knows except he himself. It is beside a sparkling stream and is surrounded by oak trees and dark green ferns sitting in this palace. In this place, the boy often watches white clouds sailing over and honeybees Stopping to taste sweet nectar from wild clover, one day a dragonfly, a turtle and a silver snail visited him in the secret place. The four had a nice time together, although not a single word was said by anyone, the guest went away as silently as they had come but not before promising each other secrecy. Third, what do you think the poet liked visiting his secret place? Give at least two reasons in support of your answer. The poet liked to visit his secret place because it was calm and serene gateway full of natural beauty. There he could be at peace with himself 
and his surroundings in solitude other creatures of nature found him to be another creation of god and there was perfect peace harmony and silence in them ab hum karenge practice assignment 3 ka reading passage read the following passage carefully horn is not okay please while in the advanced countries the use of horn is an exception we appear to drive on the horn and brakes drivers have developed a habit of using the horn whether needed or not horn if you want side is painted on some vehicles which means they won't move unless compelled to do so by a loud sound the concept that slower vehicles should keep left and give way to faster vehicles is not known to our drivers the result is a mindless cacophony of noise that is disturbing the urban noise level is high mostly because of ill maintained engines and use of the horn despite uh, the fact that some areas are classified as no horn zones this is observed more in the breach than practice Visitors from overseas wonder how we put up with such noise that is ear splitting. The fact is that the traffic police themselves are not setting examples to others. They should take interest in advertising drivers to use the horn sparingly. If at all it is often used to scare others or get the right of way. Indiscipline is the root cause of such rash driving using the power of one's shrill horn for the urban noise level to come down there is no alternative to curbing the use of horn strictly fines should be imposed on those who use the horn unnecessarily take the correct option for each of the following statements a Horn, if you want sight. Paragraph one. This message shows that Indian drivers are not deaf. Indian drivers use horn sparingly. Indian drivers follow traffic safety rules. Indian drivers use horn much too frequently. This answer is correct. Fourth, Indian drivers use horn much too frequently. B. Mindless cacophony on roads is a result of driver's ignorance of basic traffic rules, violation of no horn zones, ear splitting noise, the right of way. The correct answer is first, driver's ignorance of basic traffic rules. C. Visitors from other countries often wonder how we make so much noise on roads, how we control noise pollution, how we tolerate noise pollution, how our police breaks all traffic laws. The correct answer is third, how we tolerate noise pollution. D. They should take interest in, here they refer to drivers, police, foreign visitors to India or urban people. Correct answer is police. E. The author's tone in the passage is one of indifference, approval, criticism, praise. The correct answer is third, criticism. Complete the following statements as briefly as possible. 
day. According to the author, most Indian drivers are different from the drivers in advanced countries in the sense that they use horn as a habit, not out of need. B. Two things that contribute to noise in cities are first, ill-maintained engine and use of horns. C. This is observed more in breeds than practice. This here refers to observance of no horns rule in silence zone. D. Two reasons why people often use horns are first to scare others. Second, to get the right of way. Third, two ways in which the problem of noise pollution from homes can be effectively controlled are first, curve. The use of horns. Second, find those who use horns unnecessarily. Fourth, look at Paragraph 1. Find and copy one word that means the same as a harsh and unpleasant mixture of sound. Cacophony. In your opinion, is your mindset more like Indian drivers or drivers of advanced countries? Give at least two reasons from the text to support your opinion. Right now, I am too young to earn a driving license, but my Mindset is surely one of a disciplined and responsible driver. It does not matter whether a driver is an American or an Indian. He or she should be careful, calm, and respect other road.
users right to safety and driving on public roads अब हम करेंगे प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट फोर रीडिंग पैसेज ऑन हाउ डू एंटीबायोटिक्स वर्क रीड द फॉलोइंग पैसेज केयरफुली हाउ डू एंटीबायोटिक्स वर्क Antibiotics are widely used to treat infections caused by microorganisms called bacteria. They work by destroying or slowing down the growth of bacteria that may cause illness. Usually as soon as the bacteria enter our body and begin to multiply, the body's immune system gets into action. The army of white blood cells in the blood begins to destroy the harmful bacteria even before the symptoms surface although our immune system is capable of tackling mild infections sometimes extra help is needed in the form of antibiotics an antibiotic like penicillin kills the bacterium by inhibiting its ability to either turn glucose into energy or to construct its cell wall antibiotics are effective only against bacteria fungi and parasites they do not work against viruses therefore it is important to find out if the infection is bacterial or viral for example infections such as common cold and sore throats are generally caused by viruses and taking antibiotics will not really help Antibiotics should be taken only when prescribed by the doctor. When antibiotics are overused, the bacteria are likely to become resistant and the antibiotics become less effective against a particular type of bacterium. It is also crucial to complete the entire course of medication even if the condition improves. Otherwise, some bacteria may survive in the body. causing the infection to reoccur worse still any future antibiotic treatment may not be as effective as the bacteria that survived in the body when the antibiotic was stopped abruptly have had some exposure to antibiotics and have consequently built up a resistance to it source the hindu on the basis of your reading of the passage complete the following summary by filling the blank with one or two words only antibiotics either kill or slow down the growth of disease causing bacteria as soon as bacteria enter our body its immune system gets into action and attacks the harmful bacteria that cause infection when the infection is too strong for the body to control on its own antibiotic drugs come to our rescue unfortunately these drugs are effective only against bacteria fungi and parasites and not viruses that is why it is hard to treat common colds and sore throats with these medicines at most care should be taken while taking antibiotics they must only be taken under a doctor's supervision and must never be overused once a course has been started is must be completed otherwise some bacteria may survive and become resistant to the administered drug complete the following statements as briefly as possible according to the passage the body's natural ability to fight disease is called immune system 
B. Two ways in which penicillin often acts against bacteria are it kills them by inhibiting their ability to turn glucose into energy second it blocks their ability to construct their cell wall see it is important to find out if an infection is bacterial or viral before starting a treatment because antibiotics are ineffective against viruses third find evidence from the passage to suggest that it is dangerous to use antibiotics carelessly in case the antibiotics are overused the bacteria can become resistant to them and the antibiotic can become less effective against a particular type of bacterium fourth if you were a doctor what advice would you give to a patient who is known to leave his or her course of antibiotics unfinished without your knowledge why i would advise him or her to complete the entire course of medication even though he or she is feeling better otherwise some bacteria may survive in the body and the disease may recur worse still
the bacteria may develop resistance to the medication and any future antibiotics may prove to be ineffective next hum karenge practice assignment 5 the beauty of bones read the following passage carefully the beauty of bronze bronze has been used in the making of statues since ancient times the famous artifact the dancing girl of mohenjo-daro is over 4500 years old and is perhaps the first known statuette made of bronze The dancing girl is 10.5 cm tall and shows a young woman in a dancing pose. This work of art of the Indus Valley civilization was discovered at a site in Mohenjo-daro in 1926 and is now housed in the National Museum in New Delhi. Bronze sculpture is made through a process known as casting pouring molten metal into a mold made of clay and wax and leaving it to solidify molten bronze and alloy of copper and tin has the property of expanding slightly before it sets so when it is poured into the cast it expands and fills the finest detail of the mold then as the bronze cools it shrinks a little and making it easier to separate from the mold these are two important reasons for using bronze to make metal sculptures the ancient greeks were perhaps the first to make life size statues in bronze however not many bronzes of that period have survived bronze was in high demand and subsequent generations melted down the bronzes to make swords spears and other weapons for agricultural tools The world's tallest statue, the Statue of Unity, has cement, concrete, and structural and reinforced steel at its core. But the outer facade is made of 1,700 tons of bronze cladding. It is 182 meters, 600 feet high, and is dedicated to Indian independence leader Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. The color of good quality bronze is gold. decays of air and moisture reacting with copper of a bronze statue gives the monument a patina a beautiful green color such as can be seen in the statue of liberty in the usa complete the following statements as briefly as possible two unique things about the statue of the dancing girl mohan jodaro are first it is over 4500 years old second it is probably the first known statue made of bronze the process of making bronze statues is called casting not many bronze statues of the ancient greek could survive for long because most of them 
were probably melted by subsequent Greek generations to make swords, spears, and other weapons and agricultural tools. D. Bronze statue gets a patina look with the passage of time because decades of air and moisture react with the copper of the bronze statues to give a beautiful green color look second who is the statue of unity dedicated to what unique distinction does it have the statue of unity is dedicated to Sardar Walla Bhai Patel at one eighty two meters or 600 feet it is the world's tallest statue It is made of cement, concrete, structural and reinforced Steel at its core and has an outer facade of bronze cladding. Weighing 1700 tons. Given below is a flowchart of different stages in the process of making bronze statues, completed by choosing the items from the boxes below in the correct order. 
stages in the process of making bronze statues bronze metal is melted to ye hamare paas first number pe aaya second aayega molten bronze is poured into a clay and wax mold third molten bronze expands and fills all details of the mold next separated from the cast easily uske baad shrinks yahan pe aayega o and the last is shrinks on cooling which of the following statements is not true in the context of the passage the famous artifact the dancing girl was discovered at a site in mount zodoro in 1926 b the ancient greeks were perhaps the first to make life size statues in bronze the world's tallest statue the statue of unity is made entirely of bronze the color of good quality bronze is gold तो जो स्टेटमेंट ट्रू नहीं है वो है सी द वर्ल्ड स्टॉल स्टेचू द स्टेचू ऑफ यूनिटी इज मेड एंटायरली ऑफ ब्रोन्स बाकी सारी स्टेटमेंट्स ट्रू है फिफ्थ लुक एट पैराग्राफ वन फाइंड एंड कॉपी वन वर्ड दैट मींस द सेम एज एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल इंपॉर्टेंस और कल्चरल इंटरेस्ट मेड बाय अ पर्सन आंसर इज आर्टिफैक्ट Six. Look at paragraph five. Find and copy one word that means the same as outer side or outward appearance of something. The answer is facade. Seven. Imagine you are a sculptor and king wants to get a statue of his maid in bronze. Would you agree with the king's choice of metal to be used for his statue? Answer yes or no. explain your opinion give two reasons from the text yes i will definitely cast the statue in the metal of the king's choice that is bronze because molten bronze has the property of expanding slightly before it sets this yields more details in the sculpture also the cast sculpture is easy to separate from the mold because of the metals ability to shrink as it cools down next hum karenge practice assignment 6 on juggling for pleasure reading passage read the following passage carefully juggling for pleasure 
Mix was in the garden watching butterflies. She looked up to see Rohan and Sandhya waving to her from over the fence. Guess what? We just found a bird's nest. Want to see? Asked Rohan excitedly. Soon the three of them were climbing the tree. See, whispered Rohan. Oh, exclaimed Mix. Her eyes. Wide with awe. Just then they heard a soft whisper from below. Looking down, they saw a rather small man in a top hat and a tail coat and striped pants. Can you get the nest down? I need it, he said. No, we cannot get the nest down. The mother bird will be home soon, said Mike's quite annoyed. But I need the nest," said the small man impatiently. "Bad luck," said Sandhya, "cause uh, we aren't getting it down for you." "Why do you need the eggs?" asked Sandhya. "I need it for my egg tonight. I'm a juggler in the circus, and my latest act is juggling fresh birds' eggs. That's a laugh." Why don't you try snake sex? said Rohan. I heard that's more difficult trick. Make fun of me, will you? I will show you, he said. From his pocket, he began to pull out a long length of thick rock. When he had a sufficient length, he made a lasso of it and quickly threw it around the three of them. They were indeed surprised at the turn of events, but they were not really frightened as they thought he was too small to harm them, but they were mistaken. He tightened the knot and hold them onto his back and slowly walked away. Where are you taking us? asked Max. To the circus, he replied, since you won't give me birds eggs to juggle with, I will juggle with the three of you. When they reached the big top, it was already evening. The small man rushed in the three in with the three of them still on his back. Then somewhere at the back of the tent, he deposited them with a big third. He then waved his hand around the three of them thrice and mumbled a few words. Before Max and her friends knew it, they were doubled up. Very much like eggs, he carried them in on his arm. As he entered, they heard loud cheering from the crowd. Then everything went very quiet. Music started up soft and mellow. The small man was just beginning his act. Slowly he began to throw Max, Sandhya and Rohan in the air. As they came down, he threw them up again. Soon the tempo of the music changed and the man's act became faster. Now he was catching them with his foot and his head and even in his knives. Round tummy. Suddenly the music stopped. They landed on his arm. Once again he bowed to the cheering audience. They wanted an encore, but he just waved to them and walked out. He 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 giggled. Now let me set up for tomorrow. Let me get my rope. Come on, wake up, you two, said Max. We need to run away. I can't take another day of juggling. They were really giddy, but then they knew they had to escape. They ran as fast as they could. As they were leaving the circus ground, they turned around to see the small man waving and calling out to them and throwing out his lasso. Complete the following statements as briefly as possible. First, Max exclaimed, Oh, because she was. Surprised to see the bird's eggs. Second, the man needed the eggs to juggle in a circus show. See, the children refused to bring down the nest for the man because the 
then new that mother bird could come home any time the man felt that the children were making fun of him because they suggested him to use a snake's eggs for his juggling trick the man punished the children for not giving him the bird eggs by capturing them and using them in juggling tricks but they were mistaken the children had made a mistake in judging the man's ability to harm in any way they wanted an encore they here refers to the audience column a of the table below lists two character traits of the short man as revealed in the story complete column b of the table by writing one piece of evidence from the text in support of each of these traits character of the tra juggler and evidence from the passage first is wickedness he wanted birds eggs for his juggling trick he used children as balls for his juggling skills short temper make fun of me will you i will show you then he caught all the three children in a lesso and took them the children in the story are not only fearless but also have a great presence of mind list two pieces of evidence in support of this statement evidence 1 they refuse to hand over the birds eggs to him for his 
jugglery trick evidence to come on wake up you too said mix we need to run away i can't take another day off juggling given below are some events from the story but they are all jumbled up choose an option that correctly lists the order in which they occur in the story first the man gets furious and traps all three of them in a lasso The children refuse to hand over the nest and eggs. Third, the children sport on a tree bird's nest with eggs in it. Fourth, a short man wants them to bring down the nest and hand it over to him. Fifth, children, however, manage to escape. Sixth, he juggles the children like he would have juggled eggs. Seventh, the audience like his item and want him to repeat it. Eighth, he takes them to the circus. correct option is third part 34218675 this is the correct sequence which of the following images correctly shows a lasso to ye hai ye hai ye hai ye ye hai to correct option hai ye fourth option number 4 is correct complete the crossword puzzle by studying the clues in the table below first to life to laugh lightly and repeatedly in a silly way this is called giggled a dull heavy sound made when something heavy falls third next to speak quietly or in an unclear way mumbled four to feel dizzy and unsteady and think you are about to fall over giddy fifth pulled or dragged with force hold six one more repetition of something and four seven find and list one thing from the story that you think is most improbable why do you think it is improbable i think using live children instead of juggling wins or balls is the most improbable thing in the story children are living beings
flexible but heavy it is highly unlikely that someone can be so skilled as to use children as juggling pins or balls yes i would like to read more of this story because i am curious to know the fate of the three children whether they manage to escape from the circus moreover i love stories in which children get the better of proved evil wild people like the juggler such stories show how smart quick witted and resourceful children can be and or to be do you agree the way the juggler treated the three children answer yes or no give reasons to support your opinion no i don't like the way the juggler treated the children children are not juggling pins clubs 
or balls. They are human beings. It is clear that the juggler had evil intention in the way he treated the children he caused a lot of risk to the children's life for a very trivial reason so what he did to the children was a criminal offense नेक्स्ट रीड करेंगे प्रैक्टिस असाइनमेंट सिक्स से रीडिंग पैसेज ऑन नॉर्थ दिल्ली म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन एंड अपील टू द सिटीजन्स तो इसमें हमें एक पोस्टर गिवन है रीड द फॉलोइंग पोस्टर केयरफुली दिल्ली एमएसडब्ल्यू सॉल्यूशंस लिमिटेड तो ये नॉर्थ दिल्ली म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन की तरफ से है Let us learn solid waste management under Swachhta Survey 2021 and appeal to the citizens. तो इसमें लोगों से अपील की जाती है की जा रही है waste management के लिए Swachhta Survey 2021 में. Solid waste management is a big challenge facing the world, including India. It requires segregation of waste at source, so separate wet waste and dry waste and domestic hazardous. waste before you hand it over to the municipal waste collection van according to the swm rules 2016 the municipal waste collection teams will no longer accept mixed waste from home every time a home dumps fixed waste mixed waste a fine of rupees 200 will be imposed wet waste turn wet waste into compost do not use plastic bags kitchen waste vegetables fruit peas leftover food fish and meat waste rotten fruit and vegetables tissue paper used in packing food tea bags used tea leaves and coffee powder plates made of leaves garden waste fallen leaves garlands twigs and grass dry waste recycle dry waste use only reusable bags plastic plastic covers and wrappers bottles boxes plastic paper plates milk pouches cups pack of curd juice bottles etc paper newspaper magazines stationery old mail waste paper cardboard cartons tetra packs metals metal cans and boxes cold drinks and juice cans glass tumblers bottles jars utensils other forms of dry waste rubber styrofoam thermocol old clothes and rags old brushes used cosmetic products food packaging coconut fiber and shells hazardous domestic waste sanitary waste should be wrapped in newspaper diapers sanitary napkins bandages condoms nails tissues tissue paper used cotton expired medicines swept dust 
sharp edged materials should be wrapped in newspaper razors and razor blades use syringes needles injection bottles electronic waste segregate carefully use batteries mobile covers tape earphones bulb tube light cfl lamps broken glass should be wrapped in newspaper Take the correct option for each of the following statements. The poster does not mention which of the following. Kitchen waste, wet waste and dry waste, hazardous domestic waste or industrial waste. Correct option is industrial waste. Second, Ramanujan Shastri, a resident of Rohini, was recently fined Rs. 200 by the North Delhi Municipal Corporation, most probably because he had not wrote SWM rules 2016, he had handed over mixed refuse to garbage collectors. He produced more domestic garbage than permitted by SWM rules 2016. He had been reported by a neighbor for dumping garbage at a public place. Correct answer is second. He had handed over mixed refuse to garbage collectors. Which of the following option lists the correct mail ID D um, SW complaint disk? The correct option is C. DSMWS complaints at the rate gmail.com. D. Choose the option that correctly lists the items that should be wrapped in newspaper before disposing them off. तो करेक्ट आंसर क्या है हमारे पास हमारे को क्या ऑप्शंस गिवन है वेट किचन वेस्ट शार्प एज मेटल वेस्ट प्लास्टिक कप्स एंड प्लेट्स डायपर्स एंड बैंडेजेस ब्रोकन ग्लास वेयर और स्टायरोफॉर्म वेस्ट तो इनमें से किस किस को हमें न्यूज़पेपर में रैप करना चाहिए शार्प एज मेटल वेस्ट को डायपर्स एंड बैंडेजेस को ब्रोकन ग्लास वेयर so third is correct option, option 2, 4 and 5. Which of the following is listed under two different categories of waste on the poster? Tissue paper, items made of glass, old clothes, items made of plastic. Correct answer is tissue paper, items made of glass. Option 1 and 2. Next, choose the option that lists an odd one out item. Fruits and vegetables, cardboard boxes, garden bio waste, plates made of leaves. Correct option is cardboard boxes. Why do you think metal items like razor blades and needles should be wrapped in newspapers before disposing them off? List two reasons. Razor blades and needles are hazardous waste they can hurt or injure any handler or stray animal and can inflict Severe cuts and may even transmit infectious diseases like HIV 
और एड्स सो इट इज रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट to dispose of them safely by wrapping them in a newspaper better still they should be segregated at source and their metals and materials recycled in an environment friendly way given below is a table tick the items the municipal corporation of north delhi encourages and cross the ones that it does not encourage items single use plastic items it discourages segregation of garbage at source it encourages disposal of electronic waste along with domestic waste it discourages disposal of metal waste in another domestic wet and dry waste it discourages turning wet kitchen waste into compost it encourages garbage collection at doorstep it encourages